Hey guys, it's Jamie here and I've come to show you this little shabby journal that has been made for a collage challenge that I'm running in the Facebook group. I'm going to be putting a few prompts up every day until the end of April. The idea is to do a quick five minute collage. Nothing complex, nothing too arty, glue and stick. In today's video we're going to make the little booklet that I made to go with it and I do realise the pages go over and that was quite deliberate. You can even use magazine pages, old newspaper, whatever you want to use to make it. There's five pages in here all together because it's going to be collaged over anyway. If you want to join the challenge use the hashtag JJScrappy1 or you can join the Facebook group which I'd love you to do and I will link the details of that group in the description below. Let's go back to when this cover was a junk mail envelope. Start with making the actual little book. So all I'm going to do using my Mod Podge and some scraps is do the cover the inside and then add waste paper that I've got lying around my office so yeah it is a bit of a scrap busting thing for me and as it's just for me I'm not going to fuss too much about its looks or being perfection in itself or even the collages it is just for fun just a little memento practice the collaging skills in the safety of knowing that only people on YouTube and in Facebook and on Instagram who follow me are going to see it. And as you can see, the edges are torn. I haven't even inked the edges. Sometimes I do, but I wanted to do a quick thing. And I will be putting Mod Podge over the whole top as well. I wonder if that will go there. I think it would actually. And that was sitting there from another project. I've got a bit of book page there, some dictionary definitions. I am going with anything that I have in the scrap box. I'm not going over this because I'll probably run some tape or something down there. I will be sewing in my pages and I will show you how to do that if you've not done it before, but you can staple them in, glue them in, do how, whatever's quickest or easiest for you to do. We've covered it all, so I'm going to make sure everything on here is got a thin layer of my Mod Podge. You can use anything, you can use glue stick, it's fine. It took about five minutes for that front to dry and I've just trimmed off any rough edges. And now we're going to do the inside. Again, just collaging with whatever's around. You can use torn bits of paper, have things like this and that's fine. So it's pretty much what we did before, going up to but not into the crease. Tiniest of things there, pop that one down. Might need a bit of glue under that. I've got a bit of an edge showing there, if I can get it. Let's get that over. And then while I'm here, because this has got to dry anyway, I'll put some tape down on that bit. I'll put some extra glue on because washi doesn't always, isn't always sticky enough. And run that down the centre. I have this very large fussy cut that I think will make a nice focal point to the beginning of this little scrappy book, but it won't stand out very much against this background where this is going to go. I'm going to dry brush over to pale it down. And then just so that doesn't look too out of place, I will put a little bit of what's left on the brush over the rest. When that's dry, and it takes seconds to dry because there's hardly any paint on there, I will stain it. So I think here I might do a lighter colour, but where it's still dry, I'm going to do the vintage photo. I like to create what's probably a bit of a halo effect, which is almost a border of darkness. I don't necessarily want that to stay white. I want to get a lighter stain. This is antique linen. 
Yeah, you probably can't see much difference there, but there's a little difference. It's not huge. My central feature, I may even put some plain behind it as well, if I think it's still being a bit dominated. Things like a piece of coffee stained paper, bits of doily, music paper. If I like it, I will probably glue it all down off the page and then just put the whole thing on. So we're gonna put the coffee stain on might just tear the edge. Do the same up here actually. I've got a bit of script here. We have this. Don't know if there's enough glue on this. Let's have a look. I might let that dry and stain some edges to help it pop even more. I'll bring it down over that six because that's standing out a bit so i might put a bit more up here in terms of the doily so that we can bring that down and start to cover that six a little bit and i think that would work i'm going to I can get the lid off <laughs> stain up the edges of this central focus piece yeah now that stands out doesn't it so we just need to glue that down i will let that dry but i may do something very similar on these inside covers because i've seen that i've got a couple more little fussy cuts i have five sheets of paper here which is going to be plenty like that's old scrapbooking paper coffee stained paper that's very dark music paper some striped paper so that's basically it you could use magazines it doesn't matter because you are going to be collaging over it anyway i'm going to sew mine in you can staple it if you have a sewing machine you could run because i don't think it's going to be too thick you could run stitches down you'll notice that the book goes outside the cover that's quite deliberate it's a, just a different look for this journal um and you will see that the pages are all at different heights and levels to give it a bit of interest i'm doing a three hole pamphlet stitch so roughly in the center i'm going to put one hole then one at the top i'm hoping this is on camera one at the bottom up there wherever these are lined up now is where they're going to stay and keep moving on me i need to really clip them and not every piece of paper will have three stitches because of the layering some might only have two but they'll hold three holes in here now because it is for me i'm not being essential especially careful whereas normally i would try to be a bit more careful about three in thread one two three there's a wax thread you can run some beeswax over embroidery thread so we shall go down through the middle hole and hopefully hit everything that we need to hit there should be a hole in here somewhere and if you can using a thumb hold that thread now we need to come up through say the bottom hole then we're going to go up to the top hole and again find it in the cover pull that through and then we're going to come back up through that middle hole but this side of that central thread pull it tight you've got a thread either side now and then not away so not one way not the reverse way not the other way up to you if you leave these loose or not i might leave them a bit longer that should be everything in there and that is now our scrappy journal good to go 
and we will start the collage tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that and you will take part in the challenge. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment if you have some prompt suggestions for the collage pages. Subscribe if you're going to take part and I will see you next time.